I'm going to try to make this video short because I know I get on these videos and I get on pretty damn long. But I'm going to tell you this, that, you know, I'm going to discuss about, you know, YouTube and advertising and advertising in general and what censorship is and how the money influences the censorship. Now, back in the day, you know, the classic example, if you look on Wikipedia, you know, World War II, the Nazi, the National Socialist uh, Party, they burned all the books. Today, since the information is available on the Internet, it's scrubbed off the Internet, whether it's Twitter, uh, Facebook, you know, Google, YouTube, whatever, you know, all over the place, even Live Leak. Uh, it's going on. But, you know, i got to tell you this. I don't think it's my gut reaction. I don't know this for a fact. You know, you're going to say, how do I know this? But usually my hunches are pretty good. I don't think Susan, who runs YouTube, is really screwed up. I think Mark Zuckerberg, who runs Facebook, is really screwed up. I don't even know if that guy really runs Facebook. Maybe he's, they may have got a microchip in him. He's run by, they got them all controlled in the background. I don't even know what's going on, Mark. I don't like that guy. But um, with Susan, she's got 300-pound Nazis hanging over her freaking head, head, and I don't think she really wants to censor this stuff. I don't tell you. I don't, it's just my gut reaction. I don't think it's her. Um, you know, it's Google owns freaking YouTube, and it's not, you know, let's not get the names here. It's the money, okay, the money. The money feeds everything, okay? Now, you know, look at what happened with, to VidMe. Remember VidMe? Closed their doors. They couldn't attract enough advertisers. Well, you know why? Because the advertisers sort of got the money with the, the, the big, 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 big money, right? The money didn't want to feed them, you know? Remember VidMe just closed down? And, I, you know, I just put a video out about this decentralized tube, and I'm like, mm hmm yeah, yeah. Hey. I, I'm like, forget it. I mean, I put videos even out there, I don't know, some months ago, car videos. They're gone. I mean, like, I don't even know what the hell happened to these things. I mean, they weren't even politically incorrect. It's like, that's, you know, you're paying for storage on that thing? What the hell's wrong with this thing? It's buggy as all hell at the least, but I got a suspicion. That thing is not the way to go. Right now, I got on this bit shoot, but pff, I only put one video up there. I mean, it's nothing really up there. And I don't know. The problem is the money controls everything. And, you know, you got to pay for the web space. you got to pay for the web stores. you got to pay for, you know, to manage all this stuff. Uh, you know, I think YouTube's on a losing uh, proposition here, too. I think that, well, I heard they lose money. I don't know if they lose money. Like, you know, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, you know, everybody on the top is making big big salaries. You know, the company could be losing money, quote, unquote. But, you know, certain people are making a lot of money. Um, but the worst part of censorship is, blah, 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 you know, it's censorship. You don't know. You just don't know what the information is. That's what it is. You kept it in the dark. That's what's wrong with censorship. Now, the argument against, you know, free speech is, you know, it's about keeping bigots from trying to normalize hate. Well, what the heck is hate? You know? I hate baby killers, maybe, okay? Is there something wrong with me hating baby killers? Is that wrong? You know, I mean, you know, what it comes down to, too, is you got to have, like, a code of ethics, some kind of ethics, I mean, you got you got the Ten Commandments, right? Maybe there's 15. Maybe Moses dropped the tablet when he came down off the mountain, you know? I mean, maybe that's possible. I mean, I don't know. That's a conspiracy theory. I'm just going on a side note here. But, you know, even before people even knew about the Ten Commandments, a lot of people kind of knew what was right and wrong. They kind of sensed it. You know, there was this thing called honor, justice, you know, righteousness, whatever. You know, integrity, dedication to duty, dedica work ethic. You know, people respected that type of stuff. People did, even without being religious. And actually, to tell you the truth, I think religion is kind of a form of control, so I'm not that religious. Yeah, here's Mark Zuckerberg. I don't really like this guy. I don't like. I'm not on Facebook. I don't like Facebook. I can't stand Facebook. While we generally believe in free speech and giving everybody as much an ability to speak as possible and practice, there are lots of barriers to that, whether it's legal restrictions, technological restrictions, uh, you can't share what you want, especially if we don't like you. Anyway, <laughs> this guy, I don't know. I got, I got a suspicion he's kind of like, you know, he's the guy you see, but there's something else going on, you know? I don't want to say too much. I can tell you stuff even about FedEx, but <laughs> I can't. I mean, you know, I don't want I don't want Susan to get in trouble, okay? Facebook censorship, protecting you from reality. Yeah. And I tell you, YouTube is definitely superior to Facebook. You know, there's no doubt about that. Now, um, you know, hopefully I could stay on here because my angle is a little different from a lot of people, and I got a, 
very, very, very broad content on my channel. One thing, you know. And then once in a while, they give me this little yellow asterisk thing, you know, Chris review or whatever. But, you know, by and large, I got a lot of different stuff on my channel. So, I mean, you know. Now, I'm going to even tell you something else. And this is where I'm, I got, you know, bad feelings about the future. Like other things on my channel that have not got hit for at all that are not considered politically incorrect is, and it's one of the main topics of my channel, is about health. You know, I talk about the vitamins, the minerals, the frequencies, the sunlight, you know, different types of herbs and oils you could take that are healthy for the body. Well, at one point in time, maybe that in the future is going to be something they're going to target. Now, I'm going to give you a little insight even on how advertising works. You know, I don't watch any TV or cable TV, and I know YouTube offered me, you could watch cable TV on your Internet. I'm like, I don't want to watch. You couldn't pay me to watch cable TV. You know what the beauty of YouTube is? There's independent people. There's people like, you know, maybe if you don't like me, you don't watch me, okay? Now, if but the thing is, I like watching people that aren't professionals. I don't like the glossy content. I don't like... I don't like, you know, packaged, prepackaged bunch of corporate garbage coming out of, you know, some studio in Hollywood or something. I, you know, so I don't watch any cable TV. I can't stand it. You know, I hate it. I don't give a damn if they give me a thousand channels. There's nothing on it that's worth anything. But on YouTube, I like watching individuals. And that's what's cool about YouTube. That's really what the magic is, okay? And I know. I know I know about conspiracy theories. Some people go down a rabbit hole so deep, you know, it's like, you know, I mean, they just, I mean, God, man, I mean, Flat Earth, I mean, that was another one. God, I can't believe all the videos on YouTube about Flat Earth. But here's the angle with advertising, even with pharmaceutical. You ever notice on TV, television, which I don't watch, but everybody who watches it tells you that there's, it's loaded with pharmaceutical ads. You know why? Because when they... It, maybe these people aren't buying this stuff. Maybe they're not getting a return on the investment for advertising, you know, blah 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 X Y Z medicine. But what's going on is they could tell the they could tell people on the networks don't put things out that say you know hemp oil is going to cure all these different things. Don't put things out that natural sunlight could do this. Don't put things out that natural vitamin D levels. You bring your vitamin D levels up, that it's going to reduce cancer of the colon and cancer of the breast by 95% or more. Don't tell them these things because we're the advertisers and we're your bread and butter. That's another reason why pharmaceutical really pushes all this stuff on television. You're not really getting a return on investment. Somebody's going to go, oh, I got to get this red and white pill because I saw this on TV. No, they're not doing that. They're they're giving they got so much money you know pharmaceutical medicines got 1.5 trillion dollars globally that's a lot of money right so they got a pretty big advertising budget so they can pretty much control the airwaves that's the other side of it too so you know YouTube is kind of like freaking blah, blah, blah. now one thing that burns me up and I know YouTube boy they got me I got yellow asterisks on, on most of my Confederate videos and this burns me up because. You know, first off, I, I, I draw a corollary between that what the Confederacy did and what they were trying to do and what happened to them as between, like, with South Italy and North Italy, for one, right? You know, North, South Italy got screwed over by North Italy, the industrialists. They took all their wealth, and they turned them into, like, a subjugated colony and kept them poor, even to this day. In South Italy, especially in Sicily, in Calabria... They still think this way, and they notice because they can't stand the North because it's almost like in the United States. They're like an occupied country down there in South Italy. That's just really what it is. And the other side is, you know, Confederacy was about fighting against taxes, right? It was all about taxes. It wasn't over, you know, and you leave religion out of it. I know this is originally from the cross of St. Andrew, Scottish flag, but they made this flag with an X so they could differentiate between the North and the South, right? But one thing that burns me up is when they say the Confederacy is associated with the World War II Nazis. No, they are the exact opposite. You know, the Nazis were centralized control. They're like Marxist. You know, they're more like Abe Lincoln, for crying out loud. The, the Confederates, the Southerners, who were sons or grandsons or great-grandsons of 
Confederates that survived in 1861, 1865 went in the military and fought and defeated the Nazis. And sometimes they flew that flag in their bivouac area, too. It's a sign of Southern pride. You know, and, and, and today, they're being accused of being Nazis? This is the most freaking smearing thing ever. This aggravates the crap out of me. What the hell's the matter with these people? You know? That should be a freaking lawsuit. You know, if you talk about freaking anybody that opens their mouth and associates the that Confederate flag with Nazis, that should be freaking knocked out of the freaking internet. That should be. That definitely should be. That aggravates the crap out of me. That burns me up to the max because it, it's not true. It's not true in the least. The opposite is true. The con, the sons and grandsons and great grandsons of Confederates fought against the Nazis to free the Jews from the death camps. That's what they did. And their initial purpose of the war was freedom from taxation. Now, you heard of the Great Jewish Revolt of 69 to 70 AD? You know, a common era, or Anno Domini, whatever you want to use. Hey, you know what that was about? Taxes, mainly, right? Similar to what the Confederates did. So I don't know what the hell, you know, I don't get what the hell's going on with that. That burns me up to the max. And, uh, you know, they're tearing down all these monuments and stuff. Talk about anti-free speech. Get out of here. You know, I never even noticed these monuments until they start trying to tear them down. But that's a side note. Anyway, just want to tell you that. I don't think, you know, and Susan, uh, you know, you don't. Ha- I'm glad you kept my Confederate videos up there, okay? I don't care if you don't put ads on them. I'm not too worried about that. As long as you let me say what i got to say, you know? Because i got another angle on things. I know they weren't. You know, the North didn't, the money doesn't care about, you know, what was going on down South, except for the, we got our cut. We went to South to pay the import taxes so we can, you know, support the Northern infrastructure and industrialists. That's what they were about. What are you kidding me? And, you know, I, I, I really think things are going bad for the future because, um, you know, this Trump guy, which I've been very smart on from the beginning, even though I, I know I flip-flopped like crazy on him, but you know what? Actually, when I was flip-flopping, you know, that's probably like a good uh, assessment of what Trump's about. He's got elements that are good. He's got elements that are bad. He's definitely not what he said he was going to be during the campaign trail. But he's a little worse than I thought because he appointed that. He tries to appoint those CIA people to the State Department and crazy lady that likes to torture people into the CIA. And he's that's no, he's definitely no JFK. I can tell you that right now. He's no good. And, um... You know, they're setting things up for, you know, major conflict. So, you know, I can see what's going on. They're antagonizing Russia. So, I mean, I don't know. I mean, coastal California, South Florida, New York City, Boston. Hey, uh, ain't going to be living around here. I'll be doing my YouTube hopefully in a year or two from the mountains of Tennessee. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll still be doing it. But I just want to let you guys know what's going on. And, um... I'm going to try to put some, I, I might put some stuff out on real brief stuff on that bit shoot thing. Um, but they're probably going to be very short videos. And I, I really don't know what the hell, it's, how much it's going to help. Because, you know, the money controls everything. That's what's going on. you got to really be independent. And the one advantage of YouTube, though, is this. To be independent economically... Is means you have to actually work and do things on your own. Maybe not pay somebody to do something, right? And there's a lot of videos on YouTube that tell you how to do things um, where you can save some money, right? I mean, that's good, right? That's good. But don't go picking on the Confederates, man. That's not nice. Anyway, and uh, you know, hopefully, you know, hopefully, even in the future, I don't, even, I mean, I don't even know if they're gonna let me do my car videos because, you know, maybe they'll have Google Cars and they'll say you, you got Google Cars that are powered by electric, you know, and, you know, maybe it's in- politically incorrect to have a car video that uses gasoline and you drive yourself. You know, I'm looking ahead in the future here. Right now, we're safe, but you never know. But like I said, I don't I don't know, I really don't think it's Susan per se. I mean, well, you know what it is. I mean, the, the, the people are paying, you know, her, her and her staff or whatever the hell it is, they got they own her, man. You know what I mean? I mean, actually, there'd be a lot more people watching YouTube if 
you know, they, they just let it free and open all the way. There'd be a lot more volume. But again, the advertisers run everything. You know? They're the money. They're the money. I guess the only way to do this is to, uh, how, the, how, do you, how do you get the money? How do you, how does it, you know? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know, man. <laughs> it's like amazing. You know, maybe, maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know Trump isn't going to be the guy with the money that's going to save us. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, tell you the truth, um, well, I don't want to mention any names, but there's probably some people out there with money that are anti-authoritarian, totalitarian control. There probably are. So, you know, just some hope that, you know, some there are some elitist, quote-unquote, out there that are trying to help the average Joe out a lot. You know that? There are. And, and a lot of them are Jewish, believe it or not. You know? Look at Sam Zell. Sam Zell is a good guy. The one who owns the Chicago Tribune. You know how they call him the grave dancer and stuff like that? Because he, uh, he, he gets companies that are all screwed up and he rebuilt, he, re, he takes them out from, under the, from the grave, quote unquote, and he resells them because he fixed them, you know? He finds out, you know, maybe they're not, they got good assets, but just bottlenecks and he figures out what's wrong and he fixes the problem and then the company's a viable company and then he sells the company. Like they call him a grave dancer for that reason. But that guy, he, he's pro-American. And I could say too, also, uh, another Jewish guy you probably don't hear about much is Leonard Stern. I think he's very pro-American too. And, uh, you know, he built a giant stadium, the racetrack, Meadowlands in New Jersey years ago. I think he's pro very USA, you know. Um, I mean, nobody's perfect. You know, somebody's going to freaking say something. I know that. Nobody's 100% perfect. You know that? But um, I know Soros is not pro-American. Okay? We know this. All right? But not everybody who's an elitist is anti-American. Trump, I suspect it, man. I suspect it. He's a mixed bag. But now I'm seeing that he's pretty much. But since he, he's leaning away to the money. <laughs> you know, he, yeah, them CIA guys, them, C, them CIA guys are wonderful people. Yeah, get out of here, Trump. Get out of here, man. They wonderful people. They, they, they're no good. Why don't you uh, put a Confederate in charge of your State Department? That'd be cool. I'd really love to see that. Anyway, over now.